Blessings, the people of the light. Today we are talking about the mystery of Ubungoma Obu Fishiweyo. In one of the videos that I posted, I spoke about the two initiates, and that initiation has always been divided into two. There's initiation for the lesser priest, and there's initiation for the greater priest. The lesser or exoteric initiate is the initiate that many people are familiar with because these the initiates and their school are in the public and they are easily accessible for anybody. The usual Sangomas, the Nyangas, the prophets that we see every day, these elders are initiated under the lesser mysteries, Imvilo Zeingane. Under these lesser mysteries, we find things like ancestral spirits, uh, blood mysteries, ritual mysteries, mysteries of working with spirits, etc. All these mysteries are under the lesser initiation. This is the common traditional healing as we know it. Then we also have the initiation of the greater priests, the initiation of the hidden one the initiation of the high priest. This initiation deals with the esoteric side of spirituality, the abstract side of infinity, or the abstract side of our traditional system. The greater mysteries are the elder mysteries. Under the greater mysteries, we have a group of initiates who are called Abangoma Abafitliweyo, and they are initiated under Ubungoma Obufitliweyo. Ubungoma Obufitliweyo is a secret society in Bande Efitliwe. Everything about these initiates is secret and it is hidden. Ubungoma Obufitliweyo dates back to the days of Kem, Kemet, Egypt. And it is connected with the uh, with the Bona Abakuruba Sekemu. This is the same secret society that is reported by Bengu in his article. The truth is that Ubungoma Obufitliweyo is the original way of spirituality, and it is much older than our modernized traditions. Modern traditional healing is but an exoteric, materialistic, and distorted version of Ubungoma Obufitliweyo. The initiates who are under Ubungoma Obufitliweyo become Isa Nyusi. And Isa Nyusi is a high initiate or a high priest because Isa Nyusi is higher than a prophet, a Sangoma, and a Nyanga. The Abangoma Abafitliweyo, the hidden initiates, are the ones who still maintain the purity of African spirituality, the original way of African spirituality. They carry the science and the mysteries of our African traditional system. These are the guardians of wisdom of old, Abapati Bomlando, the Mudishe Tlamani. Each tribe in Africa has a guardian or a custodian of the most ancient knowledge of the tribe. These sacred guardians belong to the same secret society, but they are among different tribes all over Africa. In South Africa alone, we have so many tribes and one can imagine when we include the rest of the African continent, how many initiates are there in total. So there's a lot. In one of his articles, Mr. Bengu talks about Umandlalanga. He also talks about Umanganyezi as one of the initiates who are under Ubungoma Obufitliweyo. We also have elders like Obabu Kredo Motwa, who was also a member of Ubungoma Obufitliweyo. In one of his books, Kredo Motwa says that one of his best kwabelas, his best teachers, was Umanganyezi. Manganyezi is the same elder that is mentioned in the article by Mr. Peng. There's also initiates like Mudemunchu and uh, you know Boma Bo Murutisi and whatnot. There are 
so many other initiates that belong to this hidden uh, mystery school but they are not known and they shall remain so until the end of this cycle these initiates are not based heavily on rituals worshiping gods and spirits talking to ancestral spirits of the dead and whatnot they are based on something that is much higher and something that is much esoteric and abstract we will go deeper into the teachings that are presented by some of these initiates because some of these initiates have written extensively about the ancient teachings that they were taught as guardians Ubungoma obufihliweyo is not like Ubungoma that we know. It is way beyond that. It is it is much deeper and it is much much purer. Ubungoma obufihliweyo is the oldest secret society in Africa and it has been there longer than 2000 years. So lena impande yasemandulo esuka ekhemu. This is an ancient initiation school that originates from the olden days of Kemet, Egypt. Abangoma Abafihliweyo were already hidden when they were in Kemu, especially during the New Kingdom when Kemu had already lost much of its spiritual maturity. Some of the goals of Abangoma Abafihliweyo is to preserve and practice the knowledge of the ancient ones and most importantly to enlighten the people of africa the teachings of abangoma abafihliweyo are an advanced level of spiritual teachings therefore their initiation process is much longer as it is way more difficult to undergo than the initiation that we know the traditional initiation that we know we are taught by Mandlalanga that Ubungoma Obufihliweyo is largely based on Ugwazi Gwestabangu, Ugwazi Gwestabangu, the science of the mind. Murutisi, Credo Mutwa, Mudimunchu, they all say the same thing. So these teachings, Zabakulu Vasekemu and Abangoma Abafihliweyo are not really similar to the teachings that we already know among traditional healing right the teachings are much broader the ones zabangoma abafihliweyo they are much broader and they are much much deeper they teach about the mysteries of the spirit and the soul now these are some of the things that they teach about they teach about the mysteries of creation, the mysteries of Ubuntu, the mysteries of life and death, the mysteries of awareness, etc. This is just to name a few. Traditional healing has a self-imposed limit that helps people to channel their gifts in a certain way. In fact, the whole system of traditional initiation is designed in such a way that initiation initiates must focus their gifts towards a specific direction. So this focus on its own also means that they have to limit themselves in a certain way. Abangoma, Abafihliweyo are real. They exist even to this day. As I said, They've written a variety of works which we will explore deeper next time. So be sure to like and subscribe as we go further into their teachings. In closing, I'd like to quote this extract from the Emerald Tablets of Thoth. Even as exists among men dark brothers, so there exists the brothers of light. Antagonists they of the brothers of darkness seek to free men from the night. Powers have they, mighty and potent, knowing the law the planets obey. Work they ever in harmony and order, freeing the man soul from its bondage of night. Secret and hidden walk they also, known not are they to the children of men. 
ever have they fought the dark brothers, conquered and conquering time without end. Yet always light shall in the end be master, driving away the darkness of night. I, man, know ye this knowing. Always besides thee walk the children of light. Zao. <laughs>